All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today, I'm going to be reacting to the highlights of the presidential debate last night. I used to be into politics. I'm really not into politics on this channel no more. I'm actually going to create a, a political channel, actually, and I'm going to have people on. I'm just uh, talking to some people now. That's one of death going to be involved. So, but on this channel, I really don't talk about it. But this is something I think that everybody should hear. And um, yeah, I want to react to it because some of this stuff is actually hilarious. Um, and um, yeah, so we're gonna look. We're gonna watch this video, and we'll be back. And since I've changed the law, what's happened? I've changed it in a way that now you're in a situation where there are 40% fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. Yo, man. <laughs> yo, man. Ah. Uh, yo, Donald Trump is a savage, bro. He really is a savage, bro. Donald Trump's a savage, bro. Like, you know, I'm not even going to say that. I'm just going to say that it's just funny to see these two old white men. And I hate to say it like that, but they are white and I'm black. But it is what it is. In fact, you know what? I just hate to see two old men. That That's better. Two old men kind of squabbling it out. And one, you can clearly see the difference between the two. But let us continue. We had the safest border in the history of our country. That two trillion dollar tax cut benefited the very wealthy. I, what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2 percent in taxes. If they just paid 24 percent or 25 percent, either one of those numbers, they'd raise 500 million dollars, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10 year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, you know. <laughs> Yo, look how Trump looking at him, man. This is hilarious. Trump's like. <laughs> Yo, oh, my God, this is so funny, man. Oh, my God. We finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare <laughs> because all of these people are coming in. They're putting them on Medicare. They're putting them on Social Security. They're going to destroy Social Security. This man is going to single-handedly destroy Social Security. As far as the abortion is concerned, it is now back with the states. The states are voting. Uh, in many cases, the, it's a, frankly a very liberal decision. In many cases, it's the opposite. But they're voting, and it's bringing it back to the vote of the people, which is what everybody wanted, including the founders, if they knew about this issue, which, frankly, they didn't. But they would have — everybody wanted brought back. Ronald Reagan wanted it brought back. He wasn't able to get it. Everybody wanted it brought back, and many presidents had tried to get it back. I was the one to do it. And again, this gives it the vote of the people, and that's where they wanted it. Uh, just one second. He said we killed three. Um, I know a lot about Roe v. Wade, but I'm not going to really speak too much on to it. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the festivities of people reacting to this stuff. And uh, let me know in the comments, who are you going to be voting for? Are you going to vote for Joe Biden or are you going to vote for Trump? You know what I'm saying? Either way. 
it don't matter to me. I just think it's pretty, pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the whole Roe v. Wade thing. Yeah, leave it up to the states. And on top of that, with with what Trump said about pushing it back to the states, it's that's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know people might disagree with that, but hey, that's what we here for. You know what I mean? Speak your peace and that'll be that. But let's go. People. The people we killed are Al Baghdadi and Salamani, the two greatest terrorists, biggest terrorists anywhere in the world. And it had a huge impact on everything, not just border, on everything. He's the one that killed people with the bad water, including hundreds of thousands of people dying and also killing our citizens when they come in. We ha we are living right now in a rat's nest. They're killing our people in New York, in California, in every state in the union because we don't have borders anymore. Every state is now a border. I went to the World War II cemetery, World War I cemetery he refused to go to. He was standing with his four-star general and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. <laughs> President Trump. Yo, Biden turned around and was like, my son wasn't a sucker. You a sucker. <laughs> he called Trump a sucker. <laughs> he said Trump called them suckers and losers. Because they went, because uh, the veterans, he called the veterans suckers and losers. And then he said, <laughs> my son wasn't no sucker. You a sucker. <laughs> New cemetery. World War I cemetery he refused to go to. He was standing with his four-star general, and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. President Trump? Uh, first of all, that was a made-up quote, suckers and losers. They made it up. It was in a third-rate magazine that's failing, like many of these magazines. Uh, he made that up. He put it in commercials. We've notified him. We had 19 people that said I didn't say it. And think of this. Who would say I'm at a cemetery or I'm talking about our veterans? Because nobody's taken better care. I'm so glad this came up and he brought it up. There's nobody that's taken better care of our soldiers than I have. To think that I would, in front of generals and others, say suckers and losers. We have 19 people that said it was never said by me. It was made up by him, just like Russia, Russia, Russia was made up, just like the 51 intelligence agents are made up. Yo, Biden face is priceless right now. <laughs> Yo, his face is priceless. Oh my God, bro. I know there's going to be a million memes off of his face. Oh my God. There's this one part in the debate that I when I watched it where Trump says something to him and Biden turned around and his mouth opened like, like he just seen a ghost, bro. I can't. I hope they play that part in this this clip, bro. Oh my god! I, please, probably don't play the part because I'm gonna laugh, bro. Oh my god! Just like the new thing with the 16 economists are talking, it's the same thing. 51 intelligence agents said that the laptop was Russia disinformation. It wasn't. That came from his son Hunter. It wasn't Russia disinformation. He made up the suckers and losers. So he should apologize to me right now. Four-star general standing to your side who was on your staff who said you said it, period. That's number one. And number two, the idea, the idea that I have to apologize to you for anything. <laughs> the idea, the idea. Yo, he kept saying that all night. <laughs> Along the line. We've done more for veterans than any president has in American history. The crimes that you are still charged with. And think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant. I mean, what, what, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. Give your minute, sir. I didn't have sex with a porn star. And the idea that he's talking about <laughs> all this being fact. <laughs> Yo, I don't know who told him to say that. It's like, let me reinforce this. The idea. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Yo, and the crazy thing is, <clears throat> Trump, look at Trump's face, right? When Biden says stuff to him, Trump's like, but I will say this. <clears throat> Four years ago, you Donald Trump was off the hook. 
I ain't gonna lie. He was, he damn near would jump over the damn podium to, to debate you. But you could see the clear difference now from then till now. And I know some people say, well, he's only doing this because he want to get voted in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Like, does it matter? All I know is he seems much more presidential. I know a lot of people were saying he doesn't seem presidential. Well, you can't say that now. We saw with our own eyes. We saw what happened on January 6th. We saw the people breaking through the windows. We saw people occupying the his own vice president. Look, there's a reason why 40 of his 44 top cabinet officers refused to endorse him this time. His vice president hasn't endorsed him this time. So why? Why? They know him well. They serve with him. Why are they not endorsing him? And by the way, with regard to <laughs> prescription drugs, one company agreed that they would reduce the price to $35, which I was calling for one voluntarily. I made sure every company in the world, every pharmaceutical company, cannot have to pay. Thank you. And by the way, and by the way, those 15 Nobel laureates he talked about being phony, those 15 Nobel laureates, economists, they all said that if Trump is reelected, we're likely to have a recession and, and inflation is going to increase and go up. And by the way, worst president in history, 159 presidential scholars voted him the worst president in the history of the United States of America. What do you say to voters who have concerns about your capabilities to serve? Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests. I aced them, both of them, as you know. I, we made it public. He took none. I'd like <laughs> to see him take one, just one. Really Look, one. yo, through the, first the five thing questions is, bro, that's true, and Biden knows it, bro. He knows it. So it's so funny because Biden laughing because he knows that he can't take that test. <laughs> And Trump's like, look, I took two cognitive tests. And look, <laughs> this this one over here, this guy here, <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's why he laughing. That's why Biden laughing, because Biden like, look, I ain't taking no goddamn cognitive tests. Look how I'm performing up here. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. I aced him. Both of them, as you know, I, we made it public. He took none. I'd like to see him take one, just one, a real easy one. Like, go through the first five questions, he couldn't do it. But I took two cognitive tests. I took physical exams every year. And, you know, we knock on wood wherever we may have wood that I'm in very good health. I just won two club championships, not even senior, two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart, and you have to be able to hit the ball a long way. And I do it. He doesn't do it. That. He can't hit a ball 50 <clears throat> yards. He challenged me to a I didn't know that Donald Trump won two club championships in golf. Well, I'm guessing is it's in his club. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Golf match, he can't hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. I feel that I'm as in good a shape as I was 25, 30 years ago. Actually, I'm probably a little bit lighter, but I'm in as good a shape as I was uh, years ago. I feel very good. I feel the same. But I took, I was willing to take a cognitive test. And you know what? If I didn't do well, I aced them. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and by the way, I told you I'm happy to play golf. <laughs> Donald Trump had to laugh at that. <laughs> Yo, this shit is golden. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. This is hilarious. Carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. But I have, you know how many? How, I've how, seen how, you swing. I know you swing. Let's not act like children. Let's we'll see what your numbers are when this election is over. Yeah, let's, see. let's see. You're a whiner. When you lost the first time, you, you continued. You appealed and appealed to courts all across the country. Not one single court in America said any of your claims had any merit, state or local. None. But you continue to provoke this lie about somehow there's all this mis representation, all this stealing. There is no evidence of that at all. And I tell you what, I doubt whether you'll accept it because you're such a whiner. 
the idea if you lose again, you accept anything, you can't stand the loss. Something snapped in you when you lost the last time. Yeah, man. I just wanted to bring y'all that real quick. So, look, man, let me know who y'all going to vote for in the comments, man. Is it Trump 2024? Is it Biden 2024? You know what I'm saying? I think it's a very interesting dynamic. Like I said, um, I could really get deep on politics and deep on this, but I just want to keep it lighthearted. I think it's funny. I think the presidential debate last night was hilarious. Um, I see a lot of people, you know, talking about CNN, talking about MSNBC, and it was how they, and they traded on Biden. They think Biden should be replaced. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really see too many people replacing Biden um, because there's really not nobody that can actually defeat Trump. Um, they're saying that <clears throat> they're saying that they got Pete Buttigieg and uh, uh, your girl, uh, your boy, uh, Gavin Newsom and and uh, <clears throat> the chick from New York. I can't remember her name. Uh, and then you got uh, uh, the other guy, the guy from the Senate. Some of these people, I remember I remember their names if I sat <clears throat> if I sit here for a little bit, but I don't really want to do all that. Um so I don't know. Um, I'm thinking that uh, most likely if somebody is going to succeed Biden and take over, it's probably going to be uh, Kamala. That's it. And we already know how people feel about her. But like I said, I'm not really trying to dig deep into it. I just wanted to bring y'all that because it's funny. But hey, man, listen, man, you know what it is. Torture talk. I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man. Subscribe, subscribe. Oh, yeah, listen. Thank y'all for all y'all subscriptions, man. I really appreciate everything. Y'all changed my life. I really appreciate y'all, man. Just keep it lighthearted and uh, loving and be great and all that good stuff. But, yeah, man. I'll see y'all.